One of the neat things about um, Google Drive is that you can add new documents. And of course you can add Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and, and you can even add Google Forms, Google Drawings, Google Sites. Everything that you want to do in Google, you can do here in Google Drive. That's why I recommend that people start out with drive.google.com when when they're logging into Google instead of going to Gmail. It's so easy to go to Gmail and be distracted. Or if you're in a district that uh, uses Office 365 uh, for your email, then going to Gmail is just going to get you an error message. But if you go to drive.google.com, then you have access to pretty much everything that you want to do. And what you're essentially doing is saying, I'm going to store all of my documents, all of my resources um, in the cloud. In this way, they're not on that computer or device that you're working on right now. And if you have a hard drive failure, it gets stolen, critical files will not be lost. They will be in the cloud. It's a, a little shift in thinking but one that can save you a lot of time and, and heartache down the road. So when you first open your browser, go to drive.google.com and you'll be able to access all of the, your resources and be able to put all your files online. Now one of the challenges that um, I guess people have is that they're comfortable um, with just going to a program on their computer, maybe it's Word or PowerPoint, and they create a, a document and then that document resides on their computer. But it's better if you create the document in the cloud. Now, if you let's say that you have a lot of different documents that maybe are on your computer, Google Drive makes it very easy for you to put them online. Let me say that again. Google Drive makes it easy for you to take all the files that you have on your computer and put them online. And there are several ways to do that. One of the easiest ways, if you don't have gigabytes of information, maybe you only have a USB drive uh, with less than a gigabyte of information um, that you want to put online, is to do what's called the folder upload. So if you're in your Chrome browser, you can go over here to your folder upload and find a folder that has all the files that you want. So you can see here that I have a folder called Blended Learning PPTX. Now if you're wondering, wow, what's in that folder? If I open that folder, I actually have a lot of different files that have uh, PowerPoint uh, slides. So I'm going to select that folder and click Upload. And what's going to happen is that folder is going to be recreated in Google Drive and all the files inside of it are going to be put in there. So files are what's inside the folder and it says I have eight files and it will upload all files from blended learning things. So I'm going to click on upload. Once the upload is complete you'll see I'll get a green check mark down here um, in the bottom right hand corner of my screen it says the upload is complete and all eight files that are, were in that folder are now here in Google Drive. So let's go see, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this this window because I really don't need it anymore. I'm going to close it. I'm going to come over to Blended Learning PPTX and now you can see that I have tons of content here um, that I've downloaded off the internet but it's all in PowerPoint format. None of it was converted to Google Slides format. So this means that it's actually stored in its original version. One of the complaints that I, that I often hear is, oh my gosh, um, this file has uh, gotten converted from PowerPoint to Google Slides and it doesn't look the same, it doesn't work the same. Well, you don't have to use Google Drive for anything except for storage and put your content there. It makes it a lot uh, easier for some folks. But if I want to, I can come in and make little corrections like looks like whoever whomever created that had a little typo. And if I want to make edits to uh, this PowerPoint presentation, I can do that. Now when I first open this up, you'll see that I get this message, this big orange circle, edit and collaborate in real time with PowerPoint files in Google Slides. Now you can edit, share, and manage revisions for PowerPoint files using slides. So we could say try it now and something's happening. 
it's looks like it's converting or working with that slide and it says some PowerPoint features can't be displayed in Google Slides and will be dropped if you make changes so there's a tour you can take welcome to office editing let's take that tour okay there's the file extension the file extension tells you that this is a Microsoft Office formatted file we have the option to convert this um, we can save this PowerPoint as a Google slide or we can manage new versions usually what that means is let's say that we make some changes or adjustments um, to the slideshow and then we save those in Google Drive Google will actually keep track of the different versions for you um, so it's kind of a neat uh, feature to have now to be honest I like to when I'm working with with this I like to actually convert it um, and say save it as Google Slides and that converts that PowerPoint into a Google Slide and you can see that the PPTX extension is gone now and what I have is a f slideshow that I can actually um, not only edit but I can collaborate and share with others we'll come back to that in a little bit so one of the cool things about working in Google Slides is if I double click on something like a picture or a PDF document I can actually just cycle through all the different files that are here so you can see I have uh, several different uh, documents and if I want to I can add, um, just get a preview of what those are so Google Drive makes it pretty easy to add new content if I want to add it another file I can do a file upload not a folder upload go to my desktop and find a file I'm going to try this one racism interruptions and it's going to throw that file right here um, and there it is it's a PDF document now with PDF it's kind of cool because you can view a PDF you can store it as is or you can also choose to open it with Google Docs what's the point of opening it with Google Docs well what Google Docs will try to do is take that existing PDF file especially if it's mostly text and then make it so that you can make changes or edits to it isn't that amazing so now I can come in here and if I wanted to um, reformat this a little bit I, I certainly could do that um, and add more content in there so this is just a again a different way um, to interact with content but in this way I'm able to take a PDF and actually make edits and changes now you notice I closed that document very quickly and I didn't make any I didn't say file save and that's because Google Docs automatically saves everything when you're working in the Google environment everything is automatically saved so if I open up my racism interruptions again you can see that the edit I made favorite phrases is now um, is it's still there and accessible now I have a lot of different uh, tools and resources that I can take advantage of when I'm working with this and we're going to explore those in a little bit but remember this new button up in the top left hand corner lets you do quite a bit you can add new word processing new spreadsheets new uh, slideshow presentations you can even add drawings and maps and sites and things like that uh, we'll talk about each of those in turn in as we go through this